Hello my fellow gerbil lovers and welcome back to the gerbil vine. Today our video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be like an educational video or focusing on specific topics that are related to gerbils, um, but instead it's going to be something cute and fun and light, um, which is basically a gerbil shopping haul. Now, I wanted to make this video for a while now, however, some of the items that I ordered um, came from places far away, but I believe I got everything that I ordered here now, uh, so I'm really excited to show it to you guys today. So, I've got this huge 40-ounce bag of Oxbow, um, the hay blend, so it's a mix of the orchard grass and the hard Timothy hay stalks, which is really great for their enrichment and for holding up their burrows. Then, I also got my new favorite brand of Aspen shavings. Living World Green Ultra Comfort uh, Premium Aspen Shaving Bedding. This bedding literally smells amazing and it works super great to hold up the burrows. Now we can start jumping into some of the fun stuff that I'm going to be using for my Halloween tank theme um, and that includes this limited edition paper bedding from PetSmart. Um, it's the All Living Things brand, which I haven't actually tried yet for paper bedding, uh, so I'm kind of excited to do that as it's a bit cheaper than KT Clean and Cozy, although not this particular one. Um, this was quite expensive for the amount that you get, um, but it cost me about $19.99 for this 23 liter bag of paper bedding, and I did get two of them um, because obviously one of these is not going to be enough bedding uh, for at least what I put into my gerbil tank. Alright, so a couple other cool items I got to go in with the Halloween theme is going to be these <laughs> cute little chew toys. They're just uh, wooden chews on here, um, so I'm super excited to use those. Also, we got these cute little trick-or-treat uh, pumpkin guys here, which are absolutely adorable. I love the black and white theme. I think that that's so cool and definitely still looks like Halloween. Uh, so again, just those hard wooden type chews, uh, which my gerbils do love. Another item I got from the Thrills and Chills line at PetSmart would be these really cool little um, black and orange willow balls, which I plan on tying rope to and then kind of hanging them from different levels, like in the topper. So it's kind of like a Halloween willow ball thing for them to go through and chew on. So I'm sure that they're going to absolutely love that because I haven't met someone with gerbils whose gerbil doesn't show some sort of obsessive interest in shredding willow balls. The last thing I bought to go in my Halloween tank theme would be this really cool bird toy. Um, it's totally safe for gerbils. It's essentially like... Uh, woven seagrass on here and then it's just like shredded paper and it's got like a little um, chew ball at the bottom and this little metal hook thing as well as some popsicle sticks which are also safe for your gerbils but I thought it looked really cool and like kind of reminded me of fall and the last couple items that I bought in store um, would be this living world green natural sort of carrot it's just like like this literally feels like hay uh, so I think that that's pretty cool, and that's something that they'll destroy within five minutes, um, but I think that it was well worth it because they love coming across new items. Also, for some random reason, my gerbils have stopped using their coconut house. I don't know when this happened, but I haven't seen them in it in the longest time. I'm not too sure why. Nothing's really wrong with it. I guess they've just lost interest in it. So I may look for some sort of cool um, new coconut house. So for now, I got them this really cool, also from the bird section, hand-woven giant finch nest. And it has this cool thing you can hang from the top. Um, it's big enough inside, as you can see, it like basically is the size of my head here. Um, but you can basically fit both gerbils in here comfortably. There's enough room inside. It's quite roomy and it's dark in there, which I think that they'll like. I always recommend checking out the reptile and bird sections, as well as the small pet section when you're shopping in stores. So the last item I have for my Halloween tank theme is not something that I went out and bought that was new. I believe this item I've had for a couple years now. I'm pretty sure it came with some sort of like Halloween bouquet in it. But it's this really cool ceramic pumpkin guy, which I thought would be super cool to make as like a trick-or-treat dig pot. You know what I mean? Like maybe put some soil in it and like some treats and bury it in it. Uh, so I'm really excited and I think this is just going to tie the whole tank together uh, once I have this in the top part. About a month ago, I did end up uh, doing something that I've always wanted to do, which was order small pet supplies off of Etsy. Um, so I went with Cami Pals. They've got a lot of really cool, great items, and I was so excited to place my order. And surprisingly enough, shipping from Singapore didn't actually take that long. I think it was between two to three weeks, which I think is really great considering that many people have been experiencing delays due to the pandemic. So we'll start with a large box. So the first item that I ordered was these super cool um, flax 
sprays. And if we pull one out here, they basically look like this. Um, they're little sprouts of flax and these are totally safe for your hamsters and for your gerbils. Then we also ordered some uh, quinoa sprays and these are really great because just like the flax sprays, they provide another added element of enrichment in your gerbil tank, similar to if you put in like millet or oat sprays, which is all that I have found um, available in my local pet stores. Uh, so I think that these are going to be really great and I think they're going to be a huge hit with them. Next we got some forage mix here and this is I believe the meadow, yeah the meadow collecting the meadow set um so it's basically got some really great natural items and herbs in there and there's some flower petals in there too it's basically just like a beautiful colorful mix of natural items and sticks for your gerbils to munch on and to forage for then we've got a random leaf mix on here um this is going to be really great because it's like another enriching thing for them to do and it's got a bunch of safe leaves in here so it's just really great natural items for them and of course, I will have links to uh, the Hammy Pals shop and all of the individual items that I ordered in the description box for you to go and check out and see if it's something you might be interested in. So next, we've got some really cool sprays. I believe that these are red sorghum sprays. And basically, everything stayed intact again, which is really awesome shipping from so far away. There's like a little bit of fallout, but basically all of the sprays still look really full and beautiful. Next, we've got some more sprays. This is a hybrid spray, Sundan grass is what it says on here. So that's pretty cool. And I'm so excited to use these in my tank as well. I'm sure that the gerbils will love it. The last item that I just had to order because I knew that my gerbils would would be absolutely obsessed with it and I would be like their favorite person for like the rest of the year um, was this really cool sunflower head and as you can probably tell all of those black items there are sunflower seeds uh, so this is something that I'm nervous to give to the gerbils because they're just going to be absolutely obsessed with it. So that was my shopping experience with Hammy Pals. I totally recommend their shop 110%. All of the items are really great. They're exactly as pictured in the listings, exactly as I ordered. Um, and it's just a really cool variety of stuff that I haven't been able to get locally here in Canada. So the last item in our gerbil shopping haul that we're going to be going over today is this beat up package from Hamster Mail. If you don't know what Hamster Mail is, it's essentially a small pet subscription box geared towards smaller pets such as, well specifically for hamsters, um, but I did find that some of their items could be universal in using with your gerbils as well, as well as um, it really is starting to bug me that all of these items are like advertised towards hamsters and there's barely anything geared towards specifically gerbils, like where's the gerbil subscription box? I would totally subscribe to that. But this came all the way from the UK and this took forever to get here. I ordered this box um, at the end of July. They were giving away a box. You could buy like the July box without actually subscribing to the subscription service, which I thought was really cool because like maybe, you know, it was just my first time buying it. So I didn't know if it's something that I would want to keep paying monthly for or if the quality of the items was something like was a little eh. Um, or if there are specific items in here that like I couldn't find that I thought were really cool and made it worth the subscription. Um, the box was completely destroyed um, by Canada Post. When I got it, it had like, it was wrapped in a plastic and it said, we know that your mail is important to you and pretty much we're sorry for what happened and if you want to open a claim with us, we'll require all of the items. However, I didn't want to have to wait for the items to come again and then what if the exact same thing happened. So I didn't bother with that. Let's open it up and check it out. So I guess these are the alfalfa dumbbells. Uh, those are kind of cute. It says here that they're just alfalfa and parsley. Um, although they did get extremely moldy. Uh, so that's super gross. And we will be throwing that out. Alright, next we're going to move on to a rosewood boredom breaker crinkle activity tunnel. Okay, let's check this out. This looks not moldy so that's pretty cool oh my god it literally <laughs> is exactly what it sounds like maybe if you have like out of tank time with your gerbils this is something you could include in that area um so that's really excited but definitely don't put this in your gerbil tank or if you have hamsters don't put this in your hamster tank um don't leave them unsupervised with this sort of material uh, but for a playtime i think it could be really cool We've got this super green smoothie, which is like a healthy food topper um, that they say on here. To me, it's like a forage mix. 
and it's made of celery stalks, apple slices, banana slices, and cucumber slices. And I think that that's totally safe for your gerbils to use. Look how fun that looks. And it's super sealed, so there's no mold or damage. Yay. The last item that we have in the hamster mail package is, is Herbie sticks. It says here they're made of wheat, maize, oats, eggs, sunflower seeds, and mixed dried herbs. I think that's like a healthier alternative to like the common treat sticks that you would find in pet stores that are filled with like honey and sugar and basically all the bad stuff that you shouldn't be giving to your gerbils. Uh, well, I'm super glad that I didn't subscribe to the hamster mail box every single month. Basically, the only two things that I'm probably going to use are these two things here. I did just buy, like, a bunch of Forge Mix stuff from Hammy Pals, so now I've got, like, a ton of foraging mixes to give to my gerbils, um, so I'm sure that they'll at least appreciate the variety. I guess use your own discretion on if you want to order from them or not. I don't know that I'm going to repeat my purchase unless they have like some sort of really cute themed thing like, you know, for Christmas or holidays or like a fall box or something. Maybe that would be a bit better. Um, but nothing in here I found was like super fantastic or something that I couldn't get from somewhere else. <laughs> so much for watching and we'll see you in our next Halloween tank setup video. Bye!